the story of our people. Folk, the people, law, the stories, folk, law. Fragments of memories, old world meeting new. Africa, Europe, Amerindia. Stories combined, Creole stories in a long time mode, like when Jumbi used to walk the road. So the idea behind folklore came from a concert I, I was called to do at the MoMA a couple years ago here in New York. And um, I basically decided that I was going to write a suite of music based on the folklore characters of Trinidad. The, man, the larger blessed, the Sukumyan, the twins, Papa Bois, Mama Glo. What it ended up being was it, it turned into my interpretation, it turned into what I saw them as from a musical standpoint. I have some great musicians with me on the album. Jacques Schwartz bought some tenor saxophone, legendary Guadalupean musician, um, who also is keenly interested and dedicated to this movement of, of roots jazz, Caribbean jazz, Creole jazz, where we fuse the rhythms of the native native islands with, with jazz harmonies and a jazz perspective. Um, Obed Calvé is playing drums, Lucas Curtis is playing bass, Milan Milanovic is on piano, Ralph McDonald plays percussion, Glenn Bugsy Sharp, who's on board for the album, legendary pan player from Trinidad, David Archie plays percussion, Ray Charles plays percussion. The first artistic image I had in my head was some folklore characters from growing up. It was really about exploring the possibilities of telling these stories strictly through music. And when I think of La Jablesse, I think of something eerie. So that's what I tried to write. I tried to come up with something that was a little bit spooky. Um, when I thought of Dwens, I just think of playful children. Um, when I thought about Papa Boy, I just think of the most peaceful calm person who protects the forest and it's been fun I, I feel so very connected to this tradition um, of folklore and I just wanted to bring it to bring it to the world in, in my opinion the way I hear it when Etienne first um, approached me with the idea of doing a voice for him on his track um, well first of all I was blown away because I think he's a great talent and um, I thought, yes, this is, this is what we need to be doing. We need to be making more cross-fertilizations, we need to be making more experimentations, and we need to be mixing it up, but it must be rooted and it must be grounded. And the thing that roots it and the thing that grounds it is the folklore. The folk tradition, the folk form, the stories, the music, the rhythms, the chants, and it's what we do in Rapso, Trichinelle, as, as a Rapso group, uh, by utilizing the mass, the carnival, the songs, the dances, the stories, to understand ourselves and to take that and share those stories with the world. So for me, this is a, a blessed project. And uh, I can't wait to see it blossom. Blossom and boom! <laughs> Folklore. Working with ATN, this is the first time I'm having the opportunity to work with a jazz musician, but he's more than just a jazz musician. I mean, he's, he's jazz and he's a Trinidadian. And I think it's, an ex, it's a good meeting right now, a good meeting place of the various forms because I think it's a new hybrid and it's exactly what we are as Trinidadians. We are a hybrid. We're a new people forging our way into the world and this is how we're going to do it. So stay tuned. I look forward to hearing what we do with it. I hope to fuse other elements of, of arts with it. I don't want to just play the music I want. I want to see people dance to it. I want to see stories told to it. And you know, it's been a fun time.
Find something, let's go. Let's go, everybody go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this upstairs. <laughs>